Hello everybody. Welcome you all at Learning is Fun with Yoga Paramita. Here, there are some examples for you. That is, we often say, I would like to play or I would like playing. Which option you think is correct? Because in this video lesson, I'm going to tell you about these phrases because we often use these phrases in communication as well as in writing. So when we think about our communication, when we talk to people, we have to keep in mind, we have to communicate in a proper way. We have to choose a proper phrase for proper communication unless there may be some miscommunication. So know the correct use about these phrases which you have to use and which you don't use. So in this video lesson, I'm going to tell you about this thing. Stay with me till the end to know about these things. First, when we talk about would like, would love, would hate, would prefer. So what do we say? Let's see the example. Here, I would. That means I would. I'd like to go away for a few days. Would you like to come to dinner on Friday? I wouldn't like to go on holiday alone. Or we often say, I'd love to meet your family. Would you prefer to have dinner now or later? We may often ask or we may talk about these sentences frequently in our day-to-day -day life. But here you have to notice one thing. After would, we have to use to and the infinitive form of verb. We never use to going, to coming, to going or to meeting, to having, etc. What is the reason? Now I am going to tell you. That is when you are talking about these verbs, love, like, hate, prefer, etc. along with would. It's usually followed by to. We never use ing verb after uh, to when there is a uh, would. So here there is a difference between I like, I would like. I like or you may say that I would like or I would like. Here the examples for you. I like playing tennis. I like to play tennis. So, look at the difference of using ing and to verb. When we talk about I like without would, we have to use ing verb that is I like playing tennis. But uh, sometimes we have to say I like to play tennis. So, along with like, you can use both to or ing. That is, I like it in general. Here, uh, there is another example for you. That is, I'd like to play tennis today. I want to play today. Here, when we talk about I like, there is two things are here. The first one, you have to use two verb without ing. That is, I'd like to play. We never say, I'd like to playing tennis today and this sentence imply the fact you wish to or you want to play that thing on that day on that particular day that is your present situation but when you talk about I like playing tennis or I like to play tennis that means you like it in general so this is the difference between I like and I would like. Here, there is another important phrase we often use, would you mind? 
that is do mind or uh, would mind is always followed by ing not to verb so this is another important thing we often in our several situation we talk about people uh, would you mind doing something or would you mind going there but here we never say would you mind to do that thing or would you mind to go there for example here is an example for you would you mind closing the door please this is a very polite mode of request when you are talking about something to do something that means would you mind closing the door please in that case you would never say would you mind to close the door please because after would you mind we never use to instead of that we have to use ing verb that is closing now i like versus i'd like what is the difference when we say i would like to have done something that means i regret now that i didn't or couldn't do it so this is a very important phrase when we are some situation and we can't we um, imagine something but we didn't uh, or we can't do that thing for example here is a shame we didn't see anna when we were in london i would like to have seen her again so what is the difference or what is the meaning let's see another example we would like to have gone away but we were too busy at home here we wish to do that thing but we didn't or can't able to do that thing at that moment that is why when we are regretting something that we didn't or couldn't do that thing we have to use i would like to have okay so here the same structure after would love would hate would prefer you have to follow the same structure that is uh, to have uh, poor dravid i would hate to have been in his position so uh, the thing is that after uh, would have uh, would like etc you have to use uh, to verb not ing here i would love to have gone to the party but it was impossible so we have to use i would or would or like would love would prefer etc when we uh, talk about we regret something but we didn't or couldn't do that thing hope you like this video lesson if you have any queries please to comment in the comment section i definitely reply them no more today thank you for listening and bye bye